So today's video is going to be something I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to see and a bunch of you guys said yes. I made a poll asking you guys if you wanted to see my most long wearing perfumes that I have in my collection. Like the ones that last forever on my skin. The ones that make it through anything. And then I told you guys I also wanted to include my bottom five. The perfumes that don't last on my skin at all. We're kind of doing a top five and bottom five when it comes to how long a perfume lasts. Because there are a lot of perfumes in my collection that I love so much just because I love the scent, but they just don't last on my skin. So it doesn't mean I don't like that perfume, it just means it just doesn't last on me. So that's what we're talking about today, longevity, not really the scent. I mean, I'm gonna go over notes and everything, but it's mainly about that. So I'm really excited for today's video. I know that there are some people who just don't like perfume videos because you can't smell them here with me. So sometimes it does feel a little bit pointless, but I'm gonna have the notes here written on the screen and I'm gonna try to be as detailed as I possibly can. We're gonna discuss the perfumes that literally last forever on my skin. You guys know I am a perfume collector. I know that sounds horrible because perfumes eventually go bad, but I'm obsessed with perfumes. I have so many different perfumes. I've tried so many different scents, and out of all the ones I own, these are the ones that just last the longest on my skin, which makes me always go back to them. I'm always constantly using these five perfumes because they just last forever. There really is no point in wearing a perfume if it doesn't last on you. And I hang on to a bunch of perfume that doesn't last on me just because I love the scent, but it's so frustrating. Then you have to carry a travel size in your purse at all times. Even though I already do that, it's kind of annoying. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump into these and I'm not gonna go in any specific order. And before I get started, sorry, longest intro ever, but before I get started, I do want to mention everybody's skin is totally different and certain perfumes that last forever on me might not last long on you. I know it seems weird but sometimes I'll smell someone and ask them what they're wearing and when they tell me I'm like oh my gosh I've tried that perfume and it does not last on me like how do I still smell you? It's just crazy everyone's so different but these are the ones that really really work for me and I feel like they might work for you too. But I don't know. I always gotta throw out that disclaimer just in case. So this is the cheapest one out of all of them. This is Aqualina Pink Sugar. And I've spoken about Pink Sugar a hundred times on my channel. None of these perfumes you've never seen before except maybe one of them. But this is so affordable in terms of perfume. I think the biggest bottle is like $60. Which for a lot of brands, that's usually the price of their smallest bottle. So I really appreciate the price on this guy. And wow, this lasts forever on my skin. I'm gonna repeat myself a lot in this video, I just know it. This is a sweet lover's dream. If you're into very sweet scents, I say run and try this bad boy out. It is so good. It was my go-to for, wow. It's so insane how perfumes will literally transport you in time. I honestly think that's my favorite thing about perfumes. All of these perfumes just remind me of something different in my life. I, I find that so nice. They're like little memories in a bottle. I. I freaking love perfumes, but anyway, every single time I wear this, somebody compliments me without fail. They're always like, oh my gosh, you smell like cookies, or oh my gosh, I just wanna eat you. You smell so sweet, you smell so yummy. It's always like, you smell delicious. I wanna dip you in some milk and eat you a little bit. The notes are very sweet and fruity. It has cotton candy, vanilla, it has a little bit of musk. And even though it is very, very, very sweet, it doesn't give me a headache and I don't find it to be too overpowering. That's just me personally. I know some people don't like it and say that it's too sweet, but I like the sweetness of this. If you guys have ever tried Prada candy, I feel like that one is very, very sweet. And even though this one smells like sweeter, it doesn't give me a headache like Prada candy. I don't know. And. If I had Prada candy, I would mention it in my non-long wearing perfumes list because Prada candy does not last on my skin at all. And it's a bummer because it does smell good, but out of all the really, really sweet scents in my life, this is the one that lasts the longest on my skin. And I think it's freaking amazing. If you're like in high school or something, I think you might really like this because it's just so like flirty and girly. I love it. Okay, so my next one I don't want to talk about too long because I just recently spoke about this in a favorites video, but it is Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. This is such a sexy perfume. This is another one that every time I wear it, I get loads of compliments. People just tell me all the time that I smell amazing every time I wear this one. It's a sweet scent, but a very powerful sweet scent, like a an empowering sweet scent. I don't know what it is about it that every time I put it on, I'm like, oh yes, I'm ready for the day. But it honestly lasts forever on the skin. And I'll keep smelling it as the day goes on. Sometimes scents are very long wearing, but you won't smell it on yourself after a few hours. Other people will smell it, but just not you. But this is the kind of perfume I smell all day, even on myself. And it's just, it's epic. This is freaking epic. 
Alright, so if right now all of my perfumes were hanging off the edge of a building and I could only save one of them, this is the woman I would save. This beautiful darling right here. This is my favorite perfume of all time. That's saying a lot because I have a lot of them, but this one is my favorite. It's been my favorite perfume for about 10 years now. Wow. This is Gucci number two, so it's called two. Like It's, it's called Gucci two. And for a very long time, I thought this was discontinued. I couldn't find it anywhere. And a part of me still believes it is kind of discontinued because the only place I could find it now is on Sephora, and this is the only size they carry now. I used to always get the bigger size, the 3.4 fluid ounce, but this is 1.6, and I'm getting really nervous about that because I don't know. I mean, it's been available on Sephora for a while now. It hasn't been taken down, but I can't find it anywhere else, and that's starting to worry me because Gucci has done that to me in the past with Gucci by Gucci. I'm not gonna talk about it in today's video because that would definitely be top five because that one lasts ages on me as well but it was discontinued and they took out Gucci Premier like they replaced it with Gucci Premier who, which doesn't last as long and doesn't smell as good so good job Gucci good job I think out of all the perfumes that have broken my heart it's Gucci by Gucci because Danny actually bought that for me on our first date like how random but I love that perfume it's amazing if you could still find Gucci by Gucci I would get my hands on it but don't get it confused with Gucci Premier because it's not the same but anyway I digress. This perfume can literally go for days. I will spray this in the morning and I will smell it like the next day at night. I know it sounds really weird, but for some reason it's my favorite perfume to wear like in the pool, in a jacuzzi, or something like that. I know this sounds really weird, but this smells so good in the water. Am I crazy? Is there anybody out there that feels that way about any perfume in their collection? That like it just smells really good when you're in the pool? I don't know, I'm not so, but whenever I wear this and I'll go take a shower at night at the end of the day and I'm like washing my body, I will still smell it and it just blows me away every time. It is so, so, so long wearing and it smells so amazing. If I could describe this scent, it's not really candy sweet, it's like fruity sweet. I think my favorite note in this fragrance is black currant. For some reason, every time a perfume either has black currant or patchouli in it, it like drives me wild. Those are my top two like favorite perfume notes and I find that patchouli lasts a long time on my skin and so does black currant. I don't know if that's what I love about this perfume, but it's so good. It lasts forever. I highly recommend you checking it out. The only thing I don't like about this is the packaging. Like, this. This weighs 26 pounds. <laughs> this is so heavy. I hate traveling with this perfume. I never travel with it. It's so freaking heavy. Okay, so this is gonna be no surprise to a lot of you because this is like the most long wearing perfume on literally everybody. Anytime somebody is wearing this perfume, I could smell it from like across the room and that is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. This one is a very fancy perfume. This is like the special occasion woman. You bring her out when you wanna go to a wedding, like a baby shower, a tea party, a garden party. I don't know, something very, very special. This is my special occasion fragrance. I don't like to wear it on a daily basis because it is that special kind of perfume. The scent is so beautiful. I would say out of all my perfumes like here today, this is the one that's the most sophisticated and the most fancy. This is another perfume of mine that has patchouli in it. The patchouli I feel like makes it so musky and elegant and sensual. I don't know. It's so freaking good. It literally lasts days. It's such a beautiful scent that will take you through the night. I love it. If you've been thinking about splurging on this one, I would say go for it because it is worth the money since it lasts so long on your skin. Okay, and then the last one I want to talk about, it's what kind of made me want to do this video in the first place. I don't know if I've ever spoken to you guys about this perfume. I want to say that I have. I, I think I've spoken about it on Twitter for sure. But this perfume is called Cerruti 1881 and it's from Nino Cerruti. So I don't exactly know how I discovered this perfume, but this was the only perfume I wore in ninth grade. Actually in eighth grade a lot as well. I kind of wore it from eighth grade to my sophomore year, but definitely in eighth grade and in ninth grade. I feel like those were the two years I wore it the most, which is so weird to think about now because I can't picture myself liking this scent as a middle schooler or as like a freshman in high school because it's such a like grown-up scent I think that I'm a little bit shocked but this works so well with my body chemistry I don't know what it is about this that every time I wear this people tell me I smell really good and yummy and just cozy that's literally the word people use actually they tell me I smell very very cozy warm and inviting every time I wear this scent. This scent actually warms up very nicely. Like when I first spray this, it's not my favorite right off the bat. It does smell a little bit florally, which I'm not 
really into florals all that much but as you wear it and it starts to like work with your body it becomes so delicious and I love it the longer it's on my skin honestly this perfume stays on my body forever I know that the top notes are like mimosa and I know that there's chamomile in this scent and I don't know if I smell chamomile but I think I smell mimosa I really do it does have like those base notes of sandalwood and vanilla so it does have a little bit of something to it you know it's not just flowers I love it so much and it's funny because the other day I put this on and then I went to go hang out with Amelia and as soon as I got in her car she was like why do you smell like middle school she knew right away that this is the perfume I used to wear back in the day that's how unique and different it is and how much it stays on your skin she was like whoa that just took me back which I can agree this I don't know, I think that's why I love it so much. This takes me back to my teenage years, like right back to eighth grade. Walking those blue hallways with my weird teal and yellow earrings. Good times, good times. So those were my top five most long wearing perfumes and it was really, really hard not to include Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb in here or Giorgio Armani C. Those are like my sixth and seventh place just in case you guys were wondering. I do want to give an honorable mention in the long wear category because this is the most long wearing hair fragrance ever and even though I'm not talking about hair fragrance, I do want to mention this because I have six hair perfumes in my collection and none of them last on my hair like this one does. This is from the brand Taka, Toka, Taka, I'm not exactly sure. But this is their hair fragrance in Julieta. Oh, this does things to me, guys. This does things to me. My hair could be smelling like buttholes. I sprayed a little bit of this on my hair, and immediately after, everyone will be telling me like, wow, your hair smells so good. Even hours later, people will be like, wow, your hair smells so good. I'll have this in my hair, and then I'll have a different perfume on my body, but I don't really find that they clash. I feel like it doesn't overpower the scent on my body. If you're looking for a hair fragrance that's actually gonna last in your hair, and not just fizzle out after a couple minutes, you need this in your life. Okay, so now I want to talk about the bottom five in my collection. So I have a lot of different perfumes. I want to say I have like 25. And there are a lot of them that are average. You know, they don't last forever, but they don't fade after just an hour. You know, they're just... They're good. They're solid. These do not last on me, not even an hour. It's kind of like, I don't know why I'm spraying it on my body. What is the point? No one ever smells them. I'll ask people like, hey, do you smell me? And they're like, mm, not really. It's so frustrating. And the first one I want to talk about, I'm so sad about, this is the Stella McCartney Pop Perfume. I've spoken about this in the past because I love this fragrance so much. It smells so good. It literally smells like Barbie dolls. Literally. I don't know if it's because I grew up in the 90s and I grew up with Barbies. That's literally all I ever played with as a kid. I was a Barbie girl. But this smells identical to Barbie. Like to her shoes, her clothes. I think even her like skin, her face. I just smell the Barbie when I smell this. Such a fun scent that honestly takes me back in time, but I never wear it anymore because there really is no point. Honestly, I have just been using this to go to sleep. After I'm done taking a shower, I'll just spray this on my entire body and go to bed because it fades anyway. It just doesn't last on me. Okay, so this one is a major disappointment because it, that's expensive. This is the Versace fragrance. I think it's called Eros Por Femme. Eros? It smells delicious this smells so sweet like candy mm, i love it and i love the bottle because i truly truly do love this fragrance but it's just one that i have to throw in my purse every time i go to wear it because after about two hours i don't smell it anymore i want my perfumes to last all day and this one just does not okay so my next one is extremely extremely frustrating because this is one of my favorite scents in the world. I think it smells so freaking good, but it does not last on me at all. And that is Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. This one is like the sugar one. This is Viva La Juicy Sucre. But I'm just talking about the original Viva La Juicy right now. I don't know where my bottle is, actually. I think I misplaced it or I might have given it away. But I love the Viva La Juicy line. I think I have like four of these. I have Viva La Juicy, the original, Noir, the gold one, and then I have this one. And none of them last on my skin. These fade within an hour or two. It is crazy. Even less than that. It just does not do it for me, which totally sucks because... I smell this perfume all the time on my cousin. Like when she comes over, I can smell Viva La Juicy on her and I'm like, how? It just does not last on my skin. Major bummer. Which leads me to the next perfume because I actually bought this perfume when I smelled it, like immediately when I smelled it for the first time because it smelled identical to Viva La Juicy. And that is Gucci Flora. Gucci has a few different floras, but I am specifically talking about the pink one and I don't know the name of the pink one. Oh yes, Gorgeous Gardenia. 
I don't know if I'm insane. Guys, smell Viva La Juicy and then smell Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia and tell me if I'm crazy or not. But they smell very, very similar. I actually like Flora just a little bit more. But what a major disappointment because this does not last on me, not even a little bit. Emilia actually had the exact same perfume, and when I was telling her about it, I was like, man, this crap does not last on my skin. She was like, I know, it does not last on me at all. So, I don't know. Okay, and then the last perfume I wanna talk about is one that smells so, so, so good. It's actually rated like five stars on Sephora, I think. Everyone and their mother loves this fragrance, and I am one of those people as well. I love this fragrance so much, but, no dura nothing, it does not last. And that is Black Opium by YSL. This smells like a sexy night out. Like, holy crap, this smells amazing. I actually have this in a hair fragrance and in two travel size because I love this perfume so much that I make sure I'm constantly spraying my body like every hour. Like I keep the travel size in my purse just to continue to smell like this because this does not last on me at all. Let me know in the comments below if you have this perfume and if it lasts on you because even my mom tells me like, man, you put on that black opium perfume and then like an hour later, I don't smell it anymore. It can be so frustrating and this one is one of my most frustrating perfumes. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was somehow helpful. Maybe if you're looking for a really awesome long wearing perfume, you might check out one of these. But I would love to know your thoughts on all these perfumes in the comments below if you've tried any of these. Do we have different opinions? I'm just dying to know what perfumes last really long on you and which ones don't last really long on you. So give me your top two and your bottom two. Yes, let's do that. Give me your top two most long wearing perfumes. They last throughout the entire night. And then give me two perfumes that you were so disappointed with because they smelled great, but they just didn't last on your skin. And yeah, I can't wait to read these comments. I love perfume. <laughs> but yeah guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.